Capricorn, welcome to your Singles and Curious Tarot reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's going on? I just want to let you know I'm switching up the format. We're speeding things up. Um, yeah, it's time, you know? It's one of those things. I take a look at my output and I'm like, you know what? <laughs> These videos are way too long. We're going to start speeding it up. All right, what's going on? We're going to open with oracles and see how they relate to your primary reading. What's up? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn, please? going on okay let's take a look at you honey what's going on okay indecision mm, number eight indecision that's kind of like the two of swords in this gig the thinking woman we're overthinking somebody's overthinking here 47 and then the sixth chakra oh good lord i can never say his name metatron <laughs> thank you <laughs> the sixth chakra archangel metatron everything okay everything that needs to be done or not done, said and not said, everything, it all relates. In other words, it all relates. Okay, so somebody's being affected strongly by indecision. Somebody's overthinking shit with the overthinking woman. It could be you, it could be them. Sex irrelevant tarot. Doesn't matter, take it resonates, leave it does not. Okay, let's get to it. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Capricorn. Show what's going on. Singles and curious, some of that singular Capricorn energy. Show me that singular Capricorn energy, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, Knight of Wands. We've got some energy pickup for some of you. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. Okay, what is the current energy, please, for Capricorn? Show me that current energy, please, for Capricorn. What's going on? Current energy. Five of Wands, combative. Not good. Not good. We're fighting. New person. Ten of Pentacles, they could be in a commitment. This could be someone that you are already in a shared commitment with or someone who is just really, really, really involved with their business, their community, family, friends, that kind of thing. Uh, but the idea is resources, a lot of them. We're going to see what's going on. Is the attraction instant? Four of Wands, yeah, it absolutely was. Possibly marrying each other to some extent. Show me that mental, emotional, or physical. Seven of Pentacles, you are both willing to invest. Challenges to expect. Getting comfortable in this relationship. You, them, or the both of you. And then three of pentacles, when, where, how would you meet? It could have met, you could have met this person sometime around March, this last March. Um, upcoming three months, three days, I don't know. This could be contextual, or it could be that you two, in terms of time, I mean. Or it could be, yeah, ace of wands, there's a potential here. We start out as friends and then it, perhaps it grows into something more. We shall see. All right, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible. Clarification for Capricorn, show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Capricorn. You get mine now. Come on. Show me what I need to see, please. All right, what's going on? Show me that Five of Wands. What's the issue here? Three of Pentacles is the issue, okay? You want to be more than friends with this person. That's it. That's the long and short of it. You want to be more than friends with this person, okay? That's your current energy, and uh, you're kind of angry. You're irritated. It, it's kind of hard to make you angry, but you can get irritated, absolutely. Uh, especially if you feel like your energy is not being spent in the right direction. Perhaps there's too much competition surrounding this person, or perhaps they feel there's too much competition surrounding you, uh, and that they don't like just being your quote-unquote friend. Okay. Uh, I don't know, but I do see that as your primary energy, but of course reverse energies as it applies. Yeah, it's uh, you want to be more than friends, clearly. Okay, otherwise, I, and just in general, Capricorn, this would not be here, really, right? Um, it feels stuck, like it has not gone beyond that Three of Pentacles. Yes, we have a lot in common. I want to know more. I want to, that kind of thing. This other person, though, is reflecting the Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> they might be with somebody. That would explain it straight away. The other way around, too. They might see you as being taken in, to, in a commitment. And uh, they might have a Ten of Pentacles, literally with a Gemini. That could be a literal translation. It could be that they are in some kind of very firm and very strong connection. Marriage, I'm not sure. Uh, but it looks like they might be deeply tied to a primary person. Okay? Or it might be that you are deeply tied to a primary person, and that's why this person has to kind of hang out in that Three of Pentacles energy with you. Okay? Is the attraction instant? Four of Wands? Oh, yes, but one or both of you acts like you don't. Queen of Swords just pulled up over the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a natural, lovely, easy connection. It often represents the lowest form of marrying. Like, I I feel you in that way that's simple and easy. And it, we get it. 
we get it there's something there and it's easy and you know i can talk to you easily and we seem to have a lot in common but queen of swords we act like we don't cold distant detached somebody is aware of this connection um possibly the both of you you know if they're in a commitment and they understand that it's easy to work with you or work around you that would explain why they go into queen of swords and they act like they can't feel anything or it's the other way around you let me know as you see fit of course okay seven of pentacles let's go ahead and check that out the mental emotional physical attraction frankly the both of you see each other as a good investment you know truly you do you both have roots that are attractive you both have a certain sense of stability around you that is attractive okay show me the seven of pentacles emotionally moving forward we're emotionally mature people yeah all right willing to take risks calculated risks when it comes to you well let's be honest but yeah both emotionally mature okay the chariot a sense of speed direction i know who i am i know what i'm about i feel good right uh willing to take leaps of faith try new things take out new chapters in one life you both kind of reflect very strong energy so it would make sense that why you two are very strongly attracted again i'm going to go ahead and take a guess this person's in a powerful connection it's also well established um as far as i can tell the challenges here is the queen of pentacles show me judgment seven of cups it would require active juggling on somebody's part they literally have to consider them you would have to consider them an option and juggle them or it'd be the way around it would require somebody to make that active decision that's active not passive judgment okay i would tell you if it was passive it's not it's under your challenges category queen of pentacles likely you then it could very well be you unless you're dealing with a fellow earth sign virgo capricorn taurus it would require a practical decision practically speaking okay to make a decision to consider the other person as an option and juggle them accordingly that's why so this person i'm looking at is either in a commitment or you are and thus the three of pentacles reflected twice for the both of you okay show me this three of pentacles please show me this is for some of you not all of you so take what resonates so if it's not if it's not yours don't force it to fit why would you you know who would want to fall in love with someone they cannot have i suck okay show me the three of pentacles please when i start doing extendeds i will obviously explore new energies as they come up you have to make that active decision to both of you to just hang on friends it's an active decision correct we have to keep our passion in check our most mature passion king of wands who is the most uh mature of the passionate ones of the kings he has to know when to keep his fire in check i'm uh, making the active decision to be the king of wands here i am mature with my passion i know what's going on okay we're just friends okay um let's do some of these here real quick so that would explain it right here okay the indecision someone comes up cold they don't want to recognize the connection or the easiness between you two <sighs> metatron realizing that does this serve me in the end that kind of thing this connection does it serve me in the end does it add collectively to my well-being okay in the greater scheme of things i hope that one day you can forgive me uh, so again somebody's i'm looking at active decision to keep that person in the friend box and they feel bad about it um i can't stop thinking about you that's kind of obvious yeah anything else please anything else okay i wish i could share my good news with you in the general sense i do believe this is just information day to day that kind of thing i wish i could tell you more about my life uh, but i can't okay let's do something else please so yes it would require an active decision on somebody's part but the both of you really to engage in what would be juggling emotional juggling okay um this person's in a strong powerful commitment i'm guessing it's them they don't acknowledge the easiness between you it's just easier probably it's just easier so they act cold and detached okay anything else please okay children may or may not be involved 
I do see what looks like two emotionally mature people. So that could also be a huge factor for somebody else. Um, you know, with this kind of energy, it could well be that their love of their life is their child. They might be single. I don't know. But if that's off-putting to somebody, like they have a kid, no, there's no way. I refuse to get in anything with this person because they have a kid. That's a reality for some folks, and that's a decision some folks have to make. So, that could be where all their time, intention, and whatever goes towards is a very powerful connection indeed. It's the bond of a lifetime, so it could very well be that somebody's a kid and the other person's turned off by it. Like, I, I don't want that. I don't want to deal with that. This, yeah, some folks are like that. You bet. <laughs> Show me what else, anything else, please. You know? All right. Past life relationship and true love. Mm, yeah, well, that would also explain the lovers as well. <laughs> true love and a past life relationship. So the more we try to put this off, the more it hurts. Yeah, I understand. But to be with this person would be to actively juggle. Even if neither one of you is in a relationship, somebody's got a kid and it's also acting as a deterrent. Um, yeah, there you go. But for the most part, I see it as somebody's in a commitment, a strong one. Okay. Um... It would have and it require active juggling. Okay, that would be an active decision. So we choose to not talk about our passion. We choose to keep it in control and in check. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, it's a strong call, strong connection. That's what I'm saying here. Okay, that doesn't make it any easier for you. Capricorn, I do hope this helps. Uh, you know what? Why not? Anything new, please? Anything new on the horizon? Anything new, please, on the horizon? Anything new, please, on the horizon? Anything new, please, on the horizon? Seven of Swords. Mm, secret. <laughs> or it's the marker of July. Mm. So even though this reading's technically for August, it could be coming up now. You may not be aware of it. There might be Six of Cups coming back around. You just may not know it yet. Or you might be thinking about reapproaching. A Six of Cups or a Six of Cups might be thinking about reapproaching you. Okay. Mmm. Oh my. I would definitely like to pick that up. Oh, July. For some of you, July is a heavy reference. You let me know. <laughs> Capricorn, I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.